I'm going to continue my video about subterranean people. If you feel like you missed something, check out the previous video. The link is in the description. I hope you guys can enjoy this video. In the previous video, I discussed about documents indicating a trade relationship with subterranean people, conducted by the Austrian royal family worm. Today, I will show you another one. This is equally important to discuss, because some shocking facts will be revealed. I was personally shocked by this, and I'm unsure if this video will stay up on this platform for long. Another text, screenshot from the book Jehemann Terwelt, written by another royal family named Ramming, taken from the Royal Archives in Vienna. It was written down in the 1700s, copied from a text written in 1512. The text talks about the family Ramming, at one time having been free farmers, who built a castle of the same name, in 1130. It mentions their genealogy, and the fact that they had been doing business with the subterranean car people. That's a direct quote. It also says that because of the family's connections to the subterranean people, they were able to help the venerated Lords of the Black Stone become independent. Wait. Who were the Lords of the Black Stone? According to the authors Kush and others, they were a splinter group and successors of the Knights Templar, who had gotten their vast wealth through the magic of a black stone, which they had retrieved from the subterranean realm. I'll just briefly mention the strange discovery and fact that many subterranean tunnels lead to churches and monasteries. Kush, for example, discovered an elaborate tunnel system below the Abbey Vorau in Austria. In his book titled Levels of Heaven and Hell, Frederick Dodson said that large pyramids have tunnels that lead to the underworld. It's thanks to the work of Kush that I know the churches have them too. Unfortunately, the book I have been referencing here, Jehemann Terwald, has been removed by the publisher and by Amazon. The publisher claims that the book was removed due to inaccuracies, without specifying what these inaccuracies are, except that they don't relate to the primary body his work. This is a screenshot from the publisher's page for the book, as of today. The publisher could have added a disclaimer to their book about the contentious information. Removing the book entirely means there may have been lawsuits. I can only speculate because I found no discussion of this anywhere. Sometimes, I wish humanity cared more about the world they live in and have a topic like this trending. Instead, no one seems to care. Meanwhile, the other books of the authors are still available through the same publisher. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The following is not based on the author's kush, they are my ideas on this topic. I own a lot of books that have disappeared from the market. More than 50 at least. That might seem amazing to you, but it's nothing unusual for me. There are people who are desperate to withhold information from the public, but it's getting more difficult to do so. One of the things they don't want people to know about are the subterranean people. Even up to the 1800s, the idea of subterranean tunnels crossing countries and even continents was common knowledge. Look at this picture. Even though tunnels had been ordered sealed long before, Napoleon appeared to know of the Euro Tunnel connecting France and England, hundreds of years before the new subterranean train tracks and highways were built. Construction for the Euro Tunnel, or Channel Tunnel between France and England, began in 1988. Grand opening was on 30 October 1990. In those days, there were rumors that the builders were using an already existing ancient tunnel to build their new one. And what to make of the Lords of the Black Stone? Some conspiracy theorists claim that the Knights Templar or their successors still rule the world by using their magical Black Rock. There is an investment group called Black Rock, which owns stakes in almost every major media military and pharma company in the world. It's interesting that this financial superpower calls itself Black Rock. Ancient legend has it that anyone who got possession of the Black Rock could rule the world. Or maybe the Black Rock investment group are merely using the name inspired by the old legend. Researchers also claim that all of these symbols of power are really just Knights Templar symbolism, because it is they who still hold the power. It is interesting that the City of London and the Vatican are sovereign and independent, operating outside of the laws of the countries they reside in. Switzerland is the center of world banking. 
Our modern finance system was originally developed by the Knights Templar. Maybe the forbidden business dealings of the Templars with subterranean people is what really turned the church against the Templars. The Templars were persecuted for having become heretics. But judging by the symbols used by the Jesuits and the Vatican, it would seem that the Templars have meanwhile successfully infiltrated and taken control of the church. Some people speculate that the sealing off of tunnels and caverns still goes on to this day. You see such claims in social media memes such as this one. Others believe that the military is still actively engaged in subterranean combat against unknown people who live inside Earth. Example articles on this. I don't know if we are in combat with subterranean worlds today. All I know for sure is that so-called government transparency is a joke. Any human being who lives and breathes on the surface of the earth has the right, by birth, to know what kind of world they live in. We wish to know what's below our feet and why so much effort is put into covering things up. Even the most simple questions why the book I am currently reading has been removed are difficult to answer. The most important word of our times is therefore transparency. The ability to shine light on things. Freedom of information. The right to become aware of what was previously concealed so that every individual can make more informed decisions moving forward. I will now go read the rest of Jeff Amont her wealth. Knowledge dissemination relies on you. Share this video far and wide. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.